Hey, brothers and sisters, I just thought of something which is really neat uh, concerning all this talk of peace and security, and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So let's look over this these verses again, and I know we have looked these over many, many times, but let's look over it one more time. But the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. So I have highlighted in yellow uh, what is talking to us. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. So this chapter is talking about that day, the day of the Lord, and it's going to come as a thief in the night, okay? So we know perfectly about that. We, the Christians, we know this. For when they shall say, peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And you'll see I highlighted that in kind of like a red-orange color. And now back to yellow. But ye brethren, it's back to us. You are not in darkness that that day is going to overtake you as a thief. You're all children of light and children of day. We are not of night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep, back to red, as do others, or orange color, but let us watch and be sober. So you can kind of dissect this and see what is happening here. Um, we are being spoken to about that day and hour. We are being spoken to uh, when they say peace and safety, um, the sudden destruction is going to come upon them and they shall not escape. And then also, as travail upon a woman with child, and what does the Bible, Paul and Jesus, liken these end time signs as birth pains? So travail upon a woman with child. And also, you can see that in the Revelation 12 sign, which happened three years ago. So I say that to say this. So now we see that Saudi Arabia could be next to make peace with Israel. So we are seeing a peace treaty signing on the 15th, and it's going to be Israel and the United Arab Emirates. And now we are seeing Saudi Arabia could be next to make peace with Israel. And we've been seeing a lot of peace and security, peace and safety in the last year or two concerning Israel, but we've never officially seen it. Here's what I mean. If they sit down and sign this peace treaty, that could be the official peace and safety that causes sudden destruction upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape, but ye brethren are not in dark, that that day will overtake you as a thief. This could be it. Three days later is Feast of Trumpets after they sign this deal. We also have full lockdown to be imposed for high holidays inside Israel. And then Prophecy Watcher said this, is it just me or does it seem kind of eerie that Israel is going on lockdown over Rosh Hashanah and the high holy days? There's a future lockdown coming that's going to last for seven years and I sense it may be coming very soon. So they're in lockdown. They will not be outside blowing the shofars and, you know, it's just the enemy trying to quiet the celebrations. It's the enemy trying to prevent future events, but the enemy cannot prevent what God is going to do. The trump of God, God himself is going to be that trump, the last trump. So we have been seeing a call for peace and security. You can see these pictures of Jared Kushner standing in front of a sign that says peace and security in the Middle East. And this was in 2019. And back in 2017, they had their slogan, the United Nations had their slogan together for peace and security. Um, the next clip is going to show that. I just have to wait for it a little bit here so I get it right. So it is together for peace, respect, safety, and dignity for all. So we've got peace and we've got safety. And this was September 21st, 2017. So it's so interesting that they were calling for peace and safety in September 2017. That's when the Revelation 12 sign happened. Peace and safety, brothers and sisters. So we're, we've been seeing this call for peace, but this is the first time we've actually seen them going to be officially sitting down to sign a peace treaty. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to be the seven-year peace treaty, um, but Gary Stearman or someone who was working for him in Prophecy Watchers wrote in the comment section of their Facebook page that the Antichrist can confirm a covenant that has already been signed. But I'm not going to get into that. I don't think that matters in this 
message right now, this message is just that there is going to be a signing of a peace treaty with Israel and the nations around Israel. Her, Israel's enemies are going to be signing a peace deal three days before Rosh Hashanah. We will not be overtaken as a thief in the night. We can see the day approaching. This could be it. I've never seen a higher watch in my entire life. Not 2017, not 2015, not 2019. This is huge. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, body of Christ, brothers and sisters, you have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord comes as a thief in the night. You guys know this. I've told you this. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as travail upon a woman with child, upon a pregnant woman travailing in labor. And they shall not escape. They. Who are they? But who are the ye? Brethren, body of Christ, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. So we can know the the time frame. We can know the season. You're all children of light, children of day. You're not of night nor darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Revelation 3.3. 3. Um, a lot of people are going to be taken by surprise in the Christian community. doesn't mean they won't be taken up, but it will be a surprise to them. It is not going to be a surprise to us because we are watching and we are excited. Love you all so much. God bless you all. Maranatha. If you've never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, now is the time. Don't delay. The seven-year tribulation is right around the corner. It is casting its shadow on the world today. We are seeing the prophecies coming to pass now, the foreshadows of the tribulation period. Please look into this. The Bible prophecy is coming to pass at breakneck speed. You have nothing to lose but eternity to gain. God bless you all. Maranatha.